in the booth. This should be a fun one. Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a look at some of the stars here of today's game. Let's get right to it. Dan Bailey now to put the ball in the air, and we are underway here in Los Angeles. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And the offense readies for a first down and 10. He'll start on the ground here with Bernard. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one, up to around the 33. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. They'll run again with Bernard. Fights him off, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. On first down, it's long. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Now a first down throw. Lock. Buying time to his left. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. On second down, here's Locke. Flushed out right, and he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Luck showing he can be dangerous when he tucks it and runs. He's able to pick up the first down. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. Time running out here on the play clock. Here's Bernard, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he's able to hold on to the football. Now a carry for Bernard. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. Yeah, that was the safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind. He hits like a linebacker, and we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. A couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Caught on the left side, Fitzgerald. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. And the play clock's running down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Back with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Portland in control. To throw on second down is Locke. That's complete. Bernard. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play. And that's going to bring up a third down. Now Luck. 
Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off, it's the Pro Bowl corner. Joe Hayden with it. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, not a game that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, you just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. Adrian Peterson off to the races. The 30, 20, 10, and all the way in for the touchdown. Adrian Peterson, 97 yards. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. And that's only the third time in NFL history we've had a run of exactly 97 yards into the end zone. So we're witnessing a little bit of history right there, partner. And what makes it that much more impressive for me is that if you're on defense, you're expecting them to run the ball. They're on their own three-yard line. Not many people risking throwing it. So you expect them to do exactly what they did, yet it still breaks for 97 yards. That's a long way. And some quick research. The other two, 2014 Lamar Miller, the other oh, night. I know the other one. Okay. That's 1939. Andy Urum. I was there. Oh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> you weren't there. You were almost there. You were a baby at that point. Yeah, 1939. Wow. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down, but not before getting across midfield to the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Now a play fake here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Olivier Vernon. In there to sack him for a loss of six. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. Here's Luck now on second down. And he's going to go down again. Cameron Wake in there to get him and this pass rush strong now that sacks on back-to-back -back plays third and long it's locked and incomplete the contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down this team is not going to make it easy for you they're a physical group and we just saw it there on that play they came in made the contact just as he's trying to haul it in on fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. Now with the play clock at four, we're going to get a timeout called as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. So here's the punter, Ryan Allen, to kick this one away. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. Well, not only did they try to fake it, they put the ball in the arm of their punter, and it didn't work out. Not the quarterback. No. The, the punter. Yeah. yeah and Risky. It, it is so funny because when it works, genius. When it doesn't work, not so smart. Not so genius. In this case, not so genius, but I do admire that he went for it. Well, not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and... He gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Oh, Prescott stripped. And unfortunately, he's able to reel it back in, but it's going to go down as a big loss here on the play. Oh, 
third down, it's Adrian Peterson. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. One of the things I love about this game is there's a match of wits throughout the game. Who's going to get the advantage? Who's going to catch someone off guard? It's like the offense thought they might catch the defense off balance with that play call, but unfortunately, that didn't work for them. Now Austin. 35 yards that time on the punt. And here now the offense heading back out there. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. Off of play action, Luck. And it's complete, over the middle to Clark. A really nice gain of 25 yards. As far as I'm concerned, Andrew Luck can do it all. I mean, he's an underrated runner, toughness in the pocket, strong and stout, but let's face it, the money, that comes from his arm. And smart, valedictorian of his high school class in Houston that he goes to Stanford, he's got it all. Here's Luck. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back on anymore. Back to the air, Luck on second down. And this is caught at the eight. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Kick is right through. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taken near the 13. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here they come, the road team now getting the football first to start this third quarter. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. A second down throw for Prescott. Caught Eifert over the middle. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. They run again on first down, Peterson. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second down, Prescott. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 46. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. 
first possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. And he whips that one incomplete there. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. They'll need to get the playoff quickly to throw his lock. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Out of the gun, Luck. The kidder here, it's complete. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. They'll run it now out of the gun. Bernard churning, and he lost the football. And this is picked up by the defense. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But, hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it, I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. First down, here's a run with Peterson. Try to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And there's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long, but maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah, every now and then you can actually tackle that guy. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. On third down, it's Prescott. Dancing to his left. He may try and run for this. And he slides to avoid the hit. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Play action now, Prescott. In trouble, and he's taken down. Whitney Merciless from his outside linebacker spot. He comes up to drop him for a loss of 10. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and forever. Now Prescott. Here's a screen to Powell. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Well, the screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. And they'll send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is taken at the 23. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. 15 yards through the air and a first down. From the gun, here's Love. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. A shotgun snap for Love. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Again, Luck. Hard throw, incomplete. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that pass, the sticks, first down. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here's Luck. And that is incomplete. A fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina had a 20-play drive yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes. And remember how it ended? In a punt. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? You just don't see that happen every day. And this one may be not quite that bad, but still, you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long. Agreed. So they're leading. They have possession of the football, and certainly this is where they just want to milk the clock. On second down, Peterson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and they'll be facing a third and 12. Prescott. Steps away to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down time for a break we'll come back see what transpires after this so they bring out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Now this offense about ready to take over again. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it. Not that he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Cameron Wake in there to take him down and the clock will roll. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> so the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. Back to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Back-to-back -back big plays defensively. First the sack. Now they force the incompletion on third and long. Things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. 
Look out. Draw, screen, something that could be used against them. Back to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Fitzgerald. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. They needed 15. They got 16 in a first down. He's back to throw. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards there. Two straight plays of 16 yards and another first down. He'll look to throw. Caught on the left side, Fitzgerald. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. So here we go, first and ten now. They'll look to throw. This is caught. Clark. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, partner, this hasn't been the smoothest day for him. But he suddenly picked the right time to get right, as they like to say. How about that for a touchdown? Boy, he did. I guess they say all's well that ends well. It's not over yet, but you're right. He picked a good time for that first touchdown pass. Exactly right. Not over yet. The defense is going to have to make it hold up. Gano out to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25 couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now this offense ready to head back out there. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Prescott to throw. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by DJ Swearinger. And that one? Oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to come up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. some space here and he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield that's good for 21 yards and a first down every player i know tends to play the game in his mind before it actually happens there's no way he thought that at this stage of the game this would be his first big run like that yeah but it's got a feel for him like the floodgates open a sigh of relief now we'll see if things can open up for him. see if it can continue and he goes down but not before getting this inside the 25 that one goes for 24 yards. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium, that certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old.
So that'll do it for Charles Davis, the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, log on to EA Sports. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Follow me on social media. And once again, thanks for watching.